even though it's still really hot out, it's flannel season. Hello, hello everyone, my name's Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is my autumn TBR. setting monthly TBRs for myself all year long, but I've also been setting seasonal TBRs. And the reason I'm doing this is because seasonal TBRs I th are what I think I'm going to continue to do next year versus monthly TBRs, I probably won't. I was just curious of if I set a monthly TBR, how much am I, how much will I follow that TBR and actually complete it versus if I set seasonal TBRs, how much more likely I am to complete those because I am such a mood reader. So I will be having this TBR um, and because it is autumn or it is fall season uh, and spooky season is also kind of within that, this is not going to include any spooky books because those are going to be more so focused in the end of September and all of October versus autumn is September, October and November. So they're not gonna have really any spooky books on here but I will be reading those as well. So let's just jump right into the Autumn TBR. And the first book I want to talk about is Over the Woodward Wall by Deborah A. Baker. I believe Deborah A. Baker is just another name for Sean and McGuire, which if you read the summary for this book, it makes perfect sense. So we are following two characters, both who are kids. I believe it's a middle grade. One kid who is very particular, very... Um, exact and always does what they're told, very well behaved, um, and the other kid is just, you never know what they're gonna do, they're unpredictable, but both are like really good kids. Um, and so on the way home, they end up climbing over this big stone wall, and they go on this journey to find themselves as well as finding their way back home. But it is the beginning of a series, um, and it just gives me all the cozy fall vibes of finding yourself and going on this cozy adventure. And I mean, the colors on the cover, too, are also kind of fall. They're like redsy and kind of woodward, woody. That always makes me think of fall and autumn. So that's the first book I'll want to read. The second book will be Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I really loved reading some of Naomi Novik's Dark Academia. Um, but Uprooted also gives me very fall comfort vibes. It follows um, this town or this city who has this woods around it and they have this wizard who protects them and they call him the dragon but he protects them at a very steep price he always comes to the village and takes one of the girls from the village and so this year everyone believes it's going to be like uh, this one specific person who's very brave very kind and smart and they don't want him to take her and apparently something goes awry and I think our main character is taken instead and of course things aren't always what they seem so very excited for that one kind of gives me a little bit of eyes of a couple other books that i've read and so i'm really excited to get to it obviously i'm excited to get to all these i'm just going to say it over and over again just be warned the next book that i will want to get to is spindle and dagger and this is by jay anderson coates this one's got a little bit more political intrigue it and it also gives me a little bit more of a fairy tale feeling even though I don't believe it's really based off of any fairy tale this ruler kind of there's like this war and this ruler comes in and destroys this town and one of the girls in the town convinces him that he actually needs her and that she is valuable to him so then she goes and she uh, like becomes his queen or his advisor or something gets herself in the court and then she you know takes a step back at what he's doing this like do I really want to be a part of this or like how can she help everyone I don't know why I've just been gravitating towards this book lately like I don't think there's anything about it that really gives me fall vibes I mean I like fall fantasies and I guess it kind of feels like a fall fantasy but I've just been gravitating towards it that I want to read it not really for any particular reason so I thought I'd put it on my seasonal TBR then following that I also really want to read Hench by Natalie Zena Walcott and this book I think is going to be amazing. It was recommended to me by one of my old co-workers and it's basically the idea of the henchmen of the villains. So Hench follows this temp worker who is working for heroes but after bad experiences, getting laid off and just all kinds of things happening, she actually ends up getting a job for one of the worst 
villains in the world. And so she ends up climbing the ranks quite a bit uh, in this villains agency, and then she ends up being the one to save the world. So that just drew me in so much. I, I think this is going to be a fun book. It's going to be very fun. After that, there is another book that is called Autumn's Tithe. It literally has autumn right in the title. How can I not read that during fall? Or how could I read it during any other season? It's another start to a trilogy, which I'm kind of sitting here and I'm realizing I'm starting a lot of series. We'll see how that goes. At least I'll be doing the continue -a -thon again in spring. This is by Hannah Parker. So our main character has a friend who is promised long life and happiness in the Fae court, but when our main character realizes that that is not necessarily true, she decides to travel to the Fae courts to try and save her friend. Now while she's there, she ends up saving the Prince of the Autumn Court, I believe, and so then he is like indebted to her, and she's just trying to like save her friend, but then there's some tie that needs to happen. I'm not super sure. I don't pay very much attention to synopsises, especially once it like mentions Faye. So I it seems like a very autumnal fantasy just because I think it's gonna have autumn vibes if it's going to be part of the autumn court. I'm really hoping that it just kind of sets the mood a little bit. Um, just because we're so used to doing like sun court, moon court, civil court, you know, all these like astrological things. So for it to be the autumn court, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued and here for it. Moving on, I want to read The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornacek. So this book, just looking at it, gives me such Norse autumn vibes. Basically, you have this witch who falls in love with Loki from Norse mythology. And so basically what happens is that she's about to get burned at the stake because of Odin, because she won't show him the future or tell him about the future. She ends up getting saved by Loki, they fall in love, they have three kids, she's got this wonderful family life, and then she goes ahead and sees the future again, and she realizes she needs to make a choice between her beloved family or remaking the future. So that sounds super intriguing. I love books based on mythology. I haven't read a lot of uh, Norse mythology based books, so I'm really excited about that. It's witchy, so it's, it's kind of witchy. Like it's not, I'm not including it in my spooky season read uh, just because it feels cozier rather than spookier. So that's why it's on this list. The last book on my autumn TBR is going to be Nettle and Bone. This is by T. Kingfisher. I don't believe I've read anything by T. Kingfisher before, but I know that they are a very popular author and a lot of people love a lot of their fantasy works. So I thought I'd give them a try and this book really caught my eye. It is a recent release of this year. So this book seems very autumnal to me because it is a fairy tale style journey. It kind of reminds me of Ella Enchanted just a little bit and I really enjoy reading those kinds of things in the fall. So Nettle and Bone follows our main character who believes that the prince is like very abusive and he's not very good towards his kingdom. He visits this witch who gives her the tools to kill the prince if she does like these three impossible things. So she's joined by like fairy godmothers and other various creatures to go on this journey to complete these impossible things to kill the abusive prince. It sounds so good. I'm so excited. And I've heard some pretty good reviews of it so far. Like, I think people are really enjoying it. So I cannot wait to get my hands on a copy and read it this autumn. All right. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of the books that you want to read during this fall autumn season. And if you have any recommendations for me to read this coming season, I also have bookish social media links down below. You can follow me there and get updates on if I actually complete this TBR. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.